Hey there. I buy and sell. Just put up everything. Sure. Shit, he doesn't have the ticket. I need I need to do the same I need to council command it again. Buy a ticket to Arabi. I already bought one. Two five eight five nine. Perfect. And this way I don't have to worry about coming back and forth. So I just record a bunch here, and when I go over there, I just I can edit it. So it's a win-win for me too. You're get in my way. You're in my way. Hey, you're in my way. Someone's still alive? Yeah? You want you want help? Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you, just, you just opening the doors? This, this ain't Scooby Doo, bro. Oh, hello, sir. Yeah, let me let me let me just paralyze you real quick. There we go. With you and double taps. You know what I mean? Double taps. <laughs> After a week of flight and two more on ground, on ground, supported by a nomadic caravan, I got to Rub Al Khali. Glad I, glad I had the pit boy. His GPS led me straight to it, and unfortunately, so my Ford Model T broke. Good thing I wasn't driving anything, and I doubt I'll be able to survive out here in this stifling heat for so long. Better get moving and find the ruins of Ubar. Then I'll have to find a way to get my car fixed. Wow, he made a desert area too, bro. Is it mapped out? Yeah, he even mapped it out. He even like wrote dangerous sands. I'm gonna try and find a way to contact this mod developer afterwards after I upload this. Just to give him a good like kudos, you know what I mean? Like a great shit great job, you know. And also I every whenever I um fucking scorpions. Whenever I do a quest mod, I always contact the, the mod creator afterwards and I send them the link to my video so that they can check it out. So that, cause I, I know mod creators like to see how people enjoy their mod, so I always let them know, hey, I, I played your mod. I found some peculiarly ruined, strange. I'm in Erebi. Erebi? Yet the architecture is clearly Egyptian. There seems to be some strange inscription on the plaque. It looks like an encampment looks modern and fresh. I may not be alone out here. Jeez. There's definitely people here. Seems to be a cave entrance right here. Oh, a nice pyramid. Ooh. Holy Tyler aim, bro. Thank you.
I swear, these shots don't register sometimes, man. I have to, like, get in their face. Oh, fuck. Alright, here we go. The Tomb of Raquel. This is really cool, man. It reminds me of The Mummy. That movie, The Mummy. Seems like German-Italian expedition have uncovered some ruins. Perhaps I could find some clues around here. Whoa, this guy just popped in real quick. Let me just, let me just do a little peek real quick. Alright, time to puzzle solve, it seems. Did they have anything on them? No, they didn't. Probably a, it's probably a leave or something. Oh, here we go. I found notes of an officer. They speak of some translation they did. Apparently, this is a tomb of some Ra Kal, perhaps. I, have, I can find the power source or some clues to get into it. There seems to be an intact set of chambers behind the wall of inscriptions. Here we go. I got my hands some dynamite. That's cool. That's fucking cool. Feels like a legit like quest mod, you know what I mean? Like this feels like a legit new DLC size quest mod. Oh my god, oh my god. How um my game crashed. I just completely got obliterated and then my game crashed. <laughs> Fucking radiation went from 0 to 500 in 2 seconds, bro. Okay, put that bitch on. There we go. <laughs> like you, I'm done. I ain't gonna die this time, bitch. Alright. Oh my god. That was cool. How do I? Where do I go? Get off now. How? How? How do I get up the sand? I'm in a hole. I'm in a fucking hole, bro. <laughs> I'm in a hole full of sand. How do I get off the sand? Oh, I see. Nope. <laughs> let me alone, let me alone. Yo, do I gotta kill that fucking worm thing, bro? Like, I'll kill it. I'll kill that bitch. Yeah, I'm, that's what I think it is. It's something with the squares, but I just did that and I fell through it, so I don't know which one. Oh, you know what? What if I shoot the square? What if I shoot them? For example, that's solid. Solid. They're all solid. Fuck me, man. Okay, so uh, light squares only? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I don't get it. It's definitely the squares. For sure, for sure. Give me an idea. What do you think? Oh, like quick runs? Like just run and just jump? Okay, I'll try that. Oh, 
Ah, oh, no, I just, it just threw me down. Woo! I'm on, I'm on the, the fucking bag, bro. I don't want to have to, like, teleport myself ahead. I want to figure out how to actually do it, you know what I mean? There, there's a way the mod creator intended for that to be done. Skip the light ones, okay. Fuck! It worked, I got halfway. So it looks like it just at random, like he has a specific pathway I have to jump on. And it's just gonna be trial and error. So if I can skip, so that I know for sure, right here, I'm good. Now, I don't know where to go from here. Oh, maybe it shows on this thing here. No, you think it would? Well, maybe? Oh, no. Ah! I can't- I don't think I can even kill that worm thing. Should I- should I go in god mode and then figure out how to get up that sand? Or do you think it just- if, do you think if I fall it's just instant death? Like it just meant to die automatically. What if I move forward real quick? Oh fuck man. Okay, so no matter what, you're dying. Like, if, if you jump down there, you're dying. I, I, you know, oh, what if I, like, quickly go on the square and jump off type thing to see if it disappears? That might work. It, just, it disappears so fucking fast. Have, like, no time. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no! Oh my god. I had it. I fucking had it. <laughs> No, you said run on one and then immediately jump to the other, okay? You didn't you didn't recommend it. You said jump and then quickly jump to another one. I'm trying to make them disappear. Made it. Fuck yeah. Ancient tomb. UFC Scarab. Ancient aliens, I, I had to see to believe it. I'm never gonna look at the sky the same way again. Okay, that's cool. It's 
cool how you made that. Nothing big, fat, dusty, nothing. Wait a second, that tomb. I remember, I saw these plaques somewhere. What was that sound? Find the source of power. Probably, probably have to do something with these colors here. With the scare beetles uh, chasing them, now we have to play an Indiana Jones and Crystal Skull. No, it's the Scorpion King. I actually have the Scorpion King game. Don't think I have Indiana Jones. I might have it somewhere on PS2, but take all that. Wait, do I have to go back upstairs through this through the sand pit? I do. Oh my god. I really want to kill that worm thing though, for sure. There we go. There you go. Got that disappeared. Oh, and that that one also disappears. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. There we go. And now I can just run in a straight line. Save that shit. Alright. I guess we gotta go to this cave over here. What is this? What is this? Tremors, bro? Holy fuck. Dead, dead Dune Claw. Oh, this is that thing that killed me, eh? I stumbled upon a dead Dune Worm. Damn, this thing is huge. On close inspection, it turns out to be an agglomeration of biological organisms and ancient machinery. Cool how he made his own little uh, creatures too. This this is this is a uh, ancient. I think we're in Egypt, something like that. What the hell? It looks like a swamp, but nothing like I've ever seen before. The floor is almost alien. It's long dead. The wood managed to petrify over the millennia. It's 
It's like it's like uh like if you watch the mummy, it's like one of those type of locations. You can tell he based it off that. Like one of those ancient tombs with like alien history in it. Indiana Jones, all that stuff, you know. He just got creative with it. Found another one of those ancient markings. There seems to be an entrance to a complex of sorts. That's weird. Plants sprout of the gateway. I don't know if this is a good idea or enter, but I gotta search everything to find the power source. Where are these guys? Let me kill them. There we go. Alright, let's enter. Temple of Hananumar. 